I think the rule, the rule of automation is really simple in the end. You know, we are going to see the end of routine jobs. So the end of routine tasks, mostly, not even the job. But, you know, everybody does some routine. I do routine, you know, researching, billing, accounting, right? Uh, I think we're going to see the routine being done by smart machines, by intelligent assistants. They're not going to be X machine or Black Mirror or any of those or any of those things. It's just going to be a software agent that does the monkey work, you know, the the, the series, the commodity work. And if you think about this, for example, in agriculture, if a machine can, can drive the tractor uh, and the machine can water the field and so on, what does a farmer do? Well, the farmer gets to study about the next generation of seeding or whatever he wants to study. Yeah? So really what is happening with us is that our routines are being removed by machines. And if your job is 95% routine, you, you, will, you won't have a job. Right? But which job is 95% routine? Farming isn't, driving isn't, call center, yeah, maybe. Yeah. But basically what is happening is that we're moving from the lowest uh, part of work, which is basically data information and, and simple sort of uh, non-cognitive things. You know, we're moving up the ladder, the food chain. And what we have to do now is we have to train people to unlearn, to relearn, and to get new skills and character traits that machines can't do. And the list of what machines can't do is very long. Right? Machines do not have emotions, they don't understand, they can look at data, you know, they're binary. So the future of work, as I like to say, is to be human. So we shouldn't be that afraid of this, you know, the only people that should be afraid is the ones that do machine work. Right? If you work like a robot, a robot will take your job. That is the reality. We need to look at 5G and say, now we're building something completely different. We have to help people how to use it, we have to help people not to use it, if that is their, if that's what they need, we have to find balances between humans and machines. Because the key is in the end, you know, my, my formula that I'm presenting at my talk will be essentially awesome humans on top of amazing technology. You know, that is the ticket to our future and certainly for Portugal I think that is already quite clear.